Hey there folks, welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I, of course, am your host CDB. You are not, and today we're going to do a head shave with the Defender and give a few tips uh, along the way because I did receive, I think it was a tweet this week about some general uh, head shaving tips. And let me start off while I'm uh, sort of wetting the dome by the number one tip that I think is the most important in shaving your head or, or face or really anything is getting to know your head or face, getting to know where the imperfections are, if you have any bumps. And the best way you can do that is just feel, look, um, you know, feel around and make sure you don't have any moles or bumps because you're gonna have to be careful in those areas. So that's sort of tip number one. Tip number two is make sure you have a good quality uh, soap. That is very, very important. And today I'm using uh, Ariana and Evans Anonymous, which is a tester, very, very good quality soap. That is key in my estimation, uh, both knowing your face or head or whatever it is that you're shaving, knowing the contours, knowing the, you know, the, the imperfections, molds, or moles, excuse me, not molds, um, that is key. But in addition to that, a, a good quality soap that's gonna allow the the razor to glide along and cut without skipping or catching or, you know, causing yourself to to be cut. That's really important. And, and of course, today I'm using a, a high quality soap that will do, do just that. And thirdly, of course, a, a good blade. Um, you know, now for, for me, I really like the Defender and I think it it works very, very well for me. It's, you know, fairly efficient for a cart and those blades are well, let's rinse it off a little bit. See how they're spaced out? So it tends not to clog as much as some of the other cart razors. And I recommend that you start with a cart razor. And you may find, like me, that you've also finished with a cart razor because it just does a, a, a great job. Um, a cart razor does offer you a little more quarter than a traditional double-edged razor or single-edged razor or certainly a straight razor. And you know, you start off with it and just go easy. Don't apply a lot of pressure. Just sort of let the razor do the work as I'm doing. However, you may have, you may find over time that you do have to use a little pressure. I do on my head and generally, you know, with traditional style shaving, they're like, don't use pressure, don't use pressure. Sometimes on my head I have to, there are spots I can't get to otherwise. And that's part of the reason I use a card is because if I use pressure with the with a double edge razor, I'm cut, period. And there are just some places on my head, due to the way the head is, it requires a little pressure, like right in through here, requires a little bit of pressure. But when you're starting off, try your best not to, and just sort of let the razor glide along, and and then you can you know, sort of see how it feels over time. And as you develop more confidence, you know, you'll, you'll sort of really get a feel for it, is, is the way I would explain it. It just becomes natural. You know where the difficult spots are, you know where the imperfections are, you know where you have to be careful. And that just comes with experience. There's no way to get around that. Experience really matters more than just about anything. And knowing what your head will tolerate, and if you have, uh, you know, sensitive areas that are prone to irritation and all that, that's something that you will figure out over time and it won't be obvious obvious excuse me to you in the beginning but you will you know it will become known to you over time and that's why experience really is the most important uh again in my opinion uh and after that you know blade choice uh good soap uh, I find, you know, as I've talked about many times and just about every week, the carts just work better for me for the reasons I just uh, explained because they're just areas that require pressure. And if I use a, a DE due to its design, it, it will cut me most times. And so that's just the way it is. For me, you may find that you can get away with it, but uh, not on my head. It, usually what happens is when I use a DE, I just end up having, I have to follow up and, and hit those tough areas with the card anyway. So I just said, well, there's, it's easier for me to just use a card and get it right the first time rather than have to go back and do a bunch of touching up. And so that's sort of where I 
ended up. All right. Be careful around the ears is uh, another tip I would offer you because when I have cut myself on a head more times than not, it's around the ears. And sometimes when you're just moving the razor back, you're not paying attention, you can easily nick your ear. So be confident or cognizant, I should say, where the ear's down. I tend to pull mine down like that and hold it and shave around them rather than trying to put the actual blade around it when they're in their normal position. And I find that a little easier. It protects them. I have nicked the edge of my ear pretty good before. And uh, that is no fun. And so be careful there because, you know, even with a carp, you can take a good chunk out of your ear if you're holding this razor up and you go to put it to your face and you're, you know, really get aggressive there and you're not paying attention. Many people have done it. I have done it myself. And so I'm telling you uh, what I've learned from experience. Just be careful and take it slow. And, and uh, I think over time it just becomes natural and you don't have to pay nearly as much uh, attention. That you, and then you can just sort of feel it as you're going. You can feel where you need a little more attention. Then you can also take your other hand and, you know, feel around as well. And there are some other good techniques that... Uh, People use like putting a soap in their hand and rubbing around it, and that allows you to feel where you need additional uh, attention as well. And it works quite well. For me, some of the problem areas are right here. I usually have to go this way. You can hear that probably. Good soap here, by the way. I didn't speak much about the soap during the head shave because I just wanted to give some tips on at least shaving your head with a cart, but a good soap really makes a lot of difference. And one of the tips that some people give is take your remaining soap out of your brush, like so, and just sort of feel around where you have problem areas, like here. Then you have the benefit of lather in your hand, and you can just sort of get these difficult spots. And you're feeling around at the same time. Let's see where, right there's a little spot. And see, I'm applying lather before I'm getting those spots. And, and that is a very good technique. I think I saw, I wanna say Nick Shaves use that. And he may not have been the, the first one uh, to do it, but he certainly does that on you know touch-ups and I think it works very well. Let's grab a little more of that lather out of the brush. Silky lather here, by the way. Sort of rub it around and Feel for those uh, remaining um, little patches you may have missed, and you're, you know, good to go. And that's a pretty good tip and technique, I think, and I've seen, you know, I want to attribute it mostly to Nick Shave, but there might have been other people that, that did it as well, but I'm sort of calling it his method anyway. And it's a good method, and it works on the face too, if you do, I don't tend not to have to do a lot of uh, touching up on the head, or no, excuse me, on the face, but I do usually on the head, because it's, it's fairly difficult to, uh, to get all these weird, because the hair that I have grows at some weird angles. Anyway, we've gotten it to my satisfaction now. I just wanted to sort of do some touching up to show you that particular technique. Let me rinse, we'll come back and do the post, stay tuned. All right, and here we are back with the magic made by witches, which I would normally slap on the dome when I'm getting ready to get in the shower. So I'll put that on after I get out of the shower, along with the aftershave today, which will be Tob's uh, sandal with the soap today. Very, very, very good. Peter Charcalis is Ariana and Evans uh, Anonymous. This is just a tester, but it, it's quite good. He's uh, been working on his formula again and sent that out for people to try and give feedback. Peter, it's very, very good quality. You saw it, it works fantastically. The brush, by the way, was uh, Envy Shave 8 Ball. And the razor is my go-to head shaving razor, Defender, which worked uh, very well. I wanna thank everybody for watching. I hope some of those tips will help some of you who are new to head shaving or just struggling. And as always, if you wanna reach me, you can send an email to cdb at imcdb.com cdb at imcdb.com. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. God bless.